Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Ruda. Thank you so much for being here. Today I want to talk to you about Merit Makeup. I tried Merit Makeup for the first time I think two, maybe three years ago at this point and I wanted to do a quick little video talking about the truth about Merit Makeup and whether I still use it to this day, what I still use, and kind of rank the products from like one to ten, like what I use, what I don't use, something like that. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts about Merit Makeup then go ahead and keep on I first got introduced to Merit Makeup when I was pretty deep into my non-toxic makeup journey. I used to do makeup professionally like maybe five, six, seven years ago. I used to do weddings and proms and all that kind of stuff. And I obviously used like pretty, pretty solid makeup brands like say like Lancome. I stopped doing makeup and I started doing more of a, like a holistic approach to life, cutting out everything toxic out of my life, whether it was fragrances, skincare, makeup, hair care, things like that. And makeup was a really, 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 really hard transition for me within that because non-toxic makeup and toxic makeup like function pretty differently. I feel like I had such a hard time finding really high quality, really high functioning non-toxic makeup and so for me that was a really really hard time I spent a lot of money kind of purchasing brands and trying brands and Merit was really the first like brand that I stepped into where I kind of felt good about it because when I tried their makeup I felt and I could see that they are high functioning makeup items that are a lot less toxic than pretty much everything else that's on the market so I pretty much have almost everything from their brand besides their new matte lipsticks and their eyeshadows. So let's start with the like base product that they came out with, which is the Merit Great Skin Instant Glow Serum. I like this, but I will say that I don't reach for it a lot. First of all, it's stunning, it's beautiful, I love it. I like that you have to like shake it up to mix it. I think the product itself works great. It soaks into the skin really fast. I just, over the time that I've had it, I don't reach for it. I'm not a very big primer kind of girl. I'm a put on my skincare and then come do my makeup, like right on top of that. So this does get overlooked for me a lot. So I feel like I would rank this kind of at the bottom, towards the bottom, because I just don't reach for it. And it's not because it's not good. It's just because it's something that I don't reach for all the time. What I do reach for all the time is the complexion sticks. Is that what they call themselves? Minimalist Perfecting Complexion Stick. Yeah, Merit Foundation is supposed to be like a concealer and a foundation in one. I like to use like my skin color for the whole face and then like a brighter, lighter one um, for my under eyes. I like to have that area a little bit brighter. So I love these. And I mean, I've gone through so many of these. These are like, I dig into these to finish them up because there's kind of a good amount of product still within that little tube. It's just not coming out at this point. This is definitely a foundation that I would repurchase. I've had repurchased it many, many times at this point. And I just really, really, really like this foundation. I don't think that if you previously didn't like stick foundations, I don't think you're gonna like this, but I will say that it is so much more blendable than say like the Hourglass stick, which used to be my favorite. I used to love that. This works so, so beautifully on, I feel like pretty much all skin types. Um, and this, I obviously have used this for like three, three, three years maybe now. So I started at 27 and I turned 30 this year. So obviously my skin is changing. This is kind of like where I'm going from younger skin to like a little bit more mature skin. And I haven't felt that this like weighs down my skin or enhances my wrinkles or anything along the lines of that. I think it's really beautiful because it can go on pretty sheer, like you can sheer it out or you can really build it up. It holds up really, really well. It doesn't break apart on me. It doesn't emphasize my texture. I like this. It's great. I think that is definitely my number one of all of Merit products and I love it. And it's not that expensive and it's good for you. It has skincare ingredients in there as well. And obviously it's non-toxic, so I really, really like that. Oh, so I guess I should also talk about this brush. I love this brush. Uh, this brush is great. It's definitely right underneath the foundation. It's like a, a very nicely dense brush and I really enjoy it. And it's really nice and sleek. And I like that it's not super long. It's like basically almost the same size as their foundation, which to me, that's pretty freaking satisfying. Next, I have the bronzer stick. They only have like five colors of this, so it's not very versatile. And I like this, but I'm not a big bronzer girl. That's, I think, my gripe with it. It's like, I'm a contour girl, and I need it to be more cool toned. It's pretty warm toned. If you like light makeup and you want to just bronze up your face, this is beautiful. It blends so well. It's, it's never streaky. It doesn't fight with any other products. 
It's beautiful, obviously the packaging is stunning, and I like it. I like it for on my eyes. It's pretty good as an eyeshadow, blends really, really nicely, but I don't think that I would purchase this again once I use this up at some point, and this would definitely be a little bit lower down on my list. Next, I have the cheek color. I love their cheek colors. I'm not a big blush girl, but if I am using blush, it's usually this sort of blush. It like is pretty, pretty pigmented. It's pretty moisturizing. It doesn't texturize. It doesn't show up. Um, anything on my face that like I don't want to be emphasized so I really like that it blends beautifully like I said it's very pigmented and they have beautiful shades with this and I really really like it and the packaging is really nice it also has like skincare ingredients in there which I really enjoy so that is kind of higher up on my list I have their um, day glow hydrating balm I prefer honestly a dry highlighter so I like this the formula is really beautiful like it is like a stunning color I like this kind of like goldy color it's really pretty I have a little bit of it on my face and on my eyelids actually I just like I said I'm just more of a powder highlighter kind of girl and I just feel like I have a lot more control with like a brush um versus like a like a like a cream where I have to dab it with my fingers and I don't like to swipe those products on my skin it's just that's just not for me I don't really love that it's not a bad product it blends beautifully it looks beautiful it does not emphasize it blends beautifully with the other products I'm just not a big cream girl and I don't think this outperforms anything else so kind of towards the bottom on that one next I have the eyebrow pomade type of thing i have it in brown and this is the volumizing pomade i would not say that this volumizes at all but this is definitely a pretty good eyebrow pomade type of thing it took me a while to figure out how to use it you really gotta like get it into your brows it almost to me seems like um like a like a microfiber that's the wrong word like a fiber product where it adds like almost like little bristles and attaches like to your actual brows if you have no brows this is not going to be your favorite product it's not going to build your brow out of nowhere those are usually like you got to draw that on but if you have pretty okay brows and you have some sparseness in them and you want to just quickly fill them in i think this is a perfectly fine product i like this i have purchased it again and i think i would probably continue to buy this again because i do like the color i like how easy it is and i like it so it's definitely like probably my second favorite product from merit and then the last thing that i have is their mascara if you love natural lashes this is beautiful so i like my lashes to be a little bit longer a little less uh, natural if i'm wearing just concealer I would totally go for this on my actual eyelashes, but I mostly use this on my bottom lashes. It's a pretty nice and like thin wand, which I appreciate. So it's pretty easy to kind of get in here without really messing anything up or getting it all over your like eye or your under eye area. So it's definitely one of my top favorite products. And then the last product that I have by Merit is their lipstick. First of all, beauty, beauty. It's stunning. And I do like that the sticker on this is on top so that it's very easy to see what color it is if you like, especially have them stacked like upright. I like this formula. I definitely think that their array of colors could be a little bit more varied. So this color tiger is more like a brownie, like chocolatey color. And then I also have the color slip, which is a more like nudie color, which I do like that, but I tend to mix this with stuff. They are very soft formulas, as you can see, uh, so soft that it like breaks off very easily. So it's definitely a, like have the tiniest amount out and like use it like that, or maybe even using it on a brush would be a little easier. The formula is nice, it's definitely not super long wearing, but it is very easy to throw on. The shades are uh, pretty nice to like blow out as well for like the French look, I prefer a more matte lip personally so I tend to go more for liquid lipsticks but when it is something like a if I'm not trying to spend a whole bunch of time doing my lipstick definitely do reach for the Merit lipsticks they smell a little bit like crayons to me which you know that's fine I would say they're like pretty in the middle kind of more towards the higher part of how I actually feel about all of these products so yeah, this is the this is my uh, finalized list of how I rate these products. And overall, to wrap this whole video up, I do think Merit Makeup is worth it. I do think that it is kind of a trendsetter for like the more minimalistic makeup, but I do think that their formulas are great. Their formulas can be used 
in a more medium to high coverage scenario, which I enjoy. Uh, with everything, obviously, it just depends on how it works on your skin, with your skin. I like Merit overall. Some products are just not for me because my preferences are just different. So definitely stop at like a Sephora and test these products because you might really like that. And honestly, the biggest one that I would suggest is the foundation. So that is all that I have to say. If you have any questions, definitely leave them down below. If you have any other brand suggestions that are more clean, that function really, really well and do well on the skin, definitely leave them in the comments down below. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.